A legendary season for the Imperial High School girls basketball team. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Gross. They accomplished something no other girls basketball team in the Imperial Valley has ever done. Vanessa Gangora shares their magical and record-setting journey in Year of the Tigers, a 13 on your side special report. A true David versus Goliath story. The Imperial Tigers dominated the Imperial Valley, taking the league champion title in 11 of the past 12 years. However, all that success never produced a single playoff win until this year, when things drastically changed. We did start from the bottom. When I took over the program, it was, it was not a strong program. Coach Mancioni took over the program 20 years ago and said it took him time to become a better coach. I, I still can't believe it. I mean, I still look back at, at you know, some of the games and I still go back into the stats and whatnot and I still can't believe we, we made it to Sacramento. He said this group of girls are just gamers. We're small, but uh, we'll definitely bring it on the court defensively and um, we'll play it to the very last second. Another successful season for the Imperial Tigers ended in familiar fashion. A loss to Fallbrook in the San Diego section Division II championship. Despite the loss, the Tigers received an at-large bid in the CIS state playoffs and were dropped into Division IV. Imperial was seated as a sixth seed and hosted their first state playoff game. Honestly, I thought they got it wrong. I thought we were the 11th seed and, and somehow they mixed it up online. The Tigers had never won a state playoff game and leading up to the game, Coach Pancioni didn't know if it would happen this season. We only had one practice before that game and it was a really bad practice. The Tigers used the home court to their advantage and rolled past Heritage 50 to 21. Well, you know, coming in tonight after losing a championship game, we were a little nervous about how the girls were going to respond. But as you saw tonight, they were, they were incredible. Two days later, the Imperial Tigers were off to Santa Barbara. Again, they gained another first, a second win in a row, and the program's first state road win, a 43-30 to over San Marcos. Um, games can get tough or hard, and we may feel like giving up, but I feel um, we just need a little bit of motivation and positivity, and we'll be all right. Next was a Southern Regional Showdown with defending Division V state champion, Trinity Classical Academy. Relentless defense and some key free throws by freshman Nayali Cardona helped Imperial achieve another shocker, 33-30 win. Ziamara Cardona expresses how exciting it is to share this moment with her sister and father. And to be able to share these amazing experiences together is just so unreal. I love my dad being on the sidelines because he was the one who taught me how to play basketball. The win advanced the Tigers to the Southern Section title game against top seed Yucca Valley. Again, a hard fought game came down to free throws and this time, the Tigers fate lay in the hands of a player who just started playing basketball three years ago, sophomore Georgia Gomez. When I was going up to that line, I was just, I was just praying, I was like, Lord, give me the strength to make these free throws and you know, get this team what they deserve because they worked so hard. Georgia's prayers were answered and the Tigers managed the impossible, winning the Southern Region title and advancing to the state championship game in Sacramento. The Tigers are led by the Cardona sisters, Ziamara and Ayali, juniors Sierra Morris and Amy Riley, sophomore Georgia Gomez and a great supporting cast on the bench, including senior Mariel Gutierrez, who is from Mexicali. Haven means a lot for me because it's my first year in Imperial and it's my last year of high school. So that was like really crazy because like I just come to study to have like more opportunities and we finish in Sacramento playing in NBA Stadium like wow. The Tigers found themselves on the plane to Sacramento. What was a dream now was their reality. Let's go get, why not? Why not us? The CIS state championship game against the North Region champion Branson Bulls. The Tigers came to play early, tying the score at nine after one quarter of play. Then the travel, the daily grind and emotions caught up with them. You know, we got into the state championship game and we had girls that were pretty beat up. We had a game every other day, five hours from home. Branson held the Tigers scoreless in the second quarter while going on a 14-0 run. Imperial would fall 46 to 23, and despite the loss, there weren't many tears. I just told them that they earned it. This, this is what we worked for all year. We earned the trophy. Um, they should be proud of themselves, their effort. Uh, 
uh, everything that they've accomplished this year. They should just be proud and keep their heads up. And uh, we represent the Imperial Valley the best way we could. The Tigers knew they made history and accomplished something no other girls basketball team from the Imperial Valley had ever done before. Not many girls can say from, that came from the Valley have been in this position. Um, we worked really hard and I feel we deserve it and we still got next year. Coach Poncioni said there was obvious heartbreak because they wanted the win, but he couldn't be more proud of them. To play the best in the state, to go on the journey that we went on, uh, obviously it's going to be with us forever. After traveling over 2,000 miles throughout their journey in the state playoffs, Imperial High School leaves a legacy for the Imperial Valley. With this special report in Imperial, I'm Vanessa Gungora. And now you may be asking yourself, just how rare is this feat the Lady Tigers accomplished? Well, as you heard, they're the only girls basketball team in the Imperial Valley to ever reach the CIF state championship in any division. And they are the first basketball team in the Valley, boys or girls, since the 1988 Calipatria boys basketball team to reach the final. Calipatria lost in overtime. I'd say it's a pretty big deal and one that everyone in the Imperial Valley should be proud of.